fully autonomous cars are coming whether we like it or not. In fact, Toyota says in the US alone in all of 2018, there are about 40,000 fatalities due to motor vehicle crashes. So although we may not want self-driving cars, we have an inherent need for them, which is why I'm out here at the Consumer Electronics Show here in Sin City, where Toyota Research Institute, or TRI, has just unveiled Guardian, the next step in self-driving cars. Let's take a first look. Now, TRI essentially started this presentation with a short video clip of a rather nerve-wracking accident that occurred just outside of San Francisco on Interstate 80 on August 7, 2018. Now, this accident actually involved three cars where um, a TRI vehicle was actually in the midst of this accident. It was driving in its manual mode where the car, Toyota actually says, the car on the far right uh, decided to go into the middle lane, which then forced the middle lane car to clip the rear end of the TRI vehicle, which has then, again, caused the TRI vehicle vehicle to crash into the cement barrier and the middle car to actually go off the road. Now Toyota basically says that the Guardian, which is the their next generation of their self-driver assistance tech, is still kind of in its research testing stage. Uh, as you can see, this car that they're showing today at CES is the is the latest fourth generation version. Toyota calls it the TRI P4. And by all the cameras, radar, sensors, and 3D animation, this is a car that essentially is going to be uh, available or going into their research fleet in the spring of 2019 of this year. Uh, and Toyota says that Guardian is designed to basically amplify uh, the driver's control of a vehicle, which can technically goes against a lot of other uh, brands and manufacturers uh, here at CES regarding self-driving. They're saying that we're going to have a car with no steering wheel in the next five to ten years. Toyota says with uh, Guardian, this is going a completely different route. This is going to have a steering wheel because what it's designed to do is kind of act more like along the lines of autopilot in a, in, in a fighter jet, whereas the driver is still in control of the car and Guardian will kind of step in to uh, basically assist the car when it senses impeding danger or when there is a situation that requires Guardian to take over to basically let the driver know that they need to get out of the situation. Now to show an example of this, they actually recreated the entire accident scene that they showed us in San Francisco where um, Guardian what it did is it sensed the car in the far right lane clipping the car in the middle which the middle car eventually clipped into the previous generation Lexus LS which was the old Guardian car and what Guardian did is it actually accelerated the car forward to prevent the accident uh, to basically move it out of the way now of course this is all still in its research and development stage Toyota even says that no other manufacturer has been able to basically answer some of those difficult questions because as you guys know with self-driving cars there's always the question what if you know there's a pedestrian that kind of comes in out of nowhere or another car that comes in out of nowhere how does it decide um, whether or not to you know make the change that a human would do we're still kind of in the research and development stage Toyota says that's still years away from it finally coming but they will they did say that uh, Guardian will eventually be shown in a production car as their next generation tech they didn't actually give us a timetable yet but you may be seeing this uh, fourth generation Lexus LS 500 uh, which is basically known as the TRI P4 uh, running around uh, your local area here in California since this is part of the TRI research and development team. But as you guys know, here at CES, self-driving cars, new infotainment system, all the latest car tech, that's definitely part of the show. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my quick little overview on Guardian and what it's going to be doing for Toyota and Lexus in the future. For Redline Reviews at the 2019 Consumer Electronics Show, I'm Sophie Bay.